There is one more order of business left for us today to make a proper introduction to a new gaming companion. You might remember how the Wii name began to make perfect sense once you started hearing it as Wii. It was clear how much fun we all had playing together, even with people who weren't gamers before. With Wii, everybody likes to party. But in thinking about a new Nintendo system, we knew the prevailing thought would be this. Yes, the game will probably still be right for all of us, but could it also be a perfect fit just for you? And the answer to that question is an emphatic absolutely. In fact, we're so convinced of it that we put that pronoun right in the name. So today, welcome to the world of We You. Bruh. Nintendo at the Wii U's release wasn't doing so hot. The game showed not for disappointing, the features presented were unnecessary, and most of all, it was just not a promising purchase. There was only one E3 where the Wii U was good, and that was 2014, but for every other year, it was pretty much a laughing stock. However, every cloud has its silver lining, and in this case, it was... A new Super Smash Brothers over six years since the last game and finally we will be getting a new game. It had a new theme, a new engine, new visuals, everything was brand new. And hey, Mega Man is playable now along with Villager from Animal Crossing 2. Not to mention a whole ton of metric uh. new stages, items, modes, and characters. Damn, all this looks exciting. I can't wait to buy it on my 3DS. Well that's a cruel fate, not only did it boost hype for the system, it already established a competitor for the console's biggest title and what do you know, the 3DS version sold better. But even then, on the way to release, it was great seeing the community come together in their own little hub where they could celebrate every bit of Smash news we got. Miiverse may be dead, but even when I was young, browsing this and checking out art and speculation on Smash was magical, it was like discovering a world of people who were unique. There was nothing really like it at the time, and really, besides a few picky admins, the hype to release was pretty good. But it's been four years, and since then, we've had a much more interesting hype cycle with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So now that we have the Ultimate Smash Bros. almost close to release, why not revisit what we got a few years before? All right, let's get playing. Sure is taking a while for this to load though. We get a really eh introduction sequence that uses in-game clips and trailer shots and yeah, I'm bored. Honest to God, why did they make the game start like this? Smash Force main theme is awesome. You can make something great with it and you start off your trailer with random shots from other trailers. They don't even fit. The first thing we see is Marth against Shulk, then Mega Man, then Bowser running. And like, is there any reason they're in this order? What's funny is that the E3 reveal trailer works miles better. You see the series logos flash through as these characters appear in their iconic forms one after the other until they all come together and they fight. That is a way better introduction. So we start up the game, start a smash battle, and get into the gameplay. You hit your opponent various times with different attacks, build up their percentages, and send them off the screen. You have a bunch of stages to choose from, same for characters, rules, and items. Smash 4 doesn't really add anything new to the gameplay though. In Melee you have side specials, air dodges, directional grabs, and a bunch of other things. Brawl touched up on Melee's gameplay to make it less competitive, but in compensation, we got final smashes. Smash 4 adds... Uh, but hey, I'm enjoying myself, picking up items, using final smashes, overall having a fun time playing the game. It's not super fun, but it's sort of enjoyable. I think the reason why that is, is because what they did was make gameplay really polished. Like nothing feels weird, every movement feels balanced. Everything happens at the right moment, and while it isn't tight controls like I said earlier, it's fun. I like shooting people, I like kicking people, and I like doing this, because this is truly the peak of entertainment. 